This week, the Steam October Next Fest for 2024 is going on. And while I don't have a game in this Next Fest, I wanted to talk about how insanely valuable the Next Fest has become for indie developers and solo developers like myself to get that free marketing out there. Now, my first game, Chess Survivors, was in the October Next Fest of 2022, which is two years ago at this point. And the game has sold 6,000 copies. And I think the main reason was because of all the wish lists I got from the Next Fest. You can see there's a, a huge spike when the game went into early access. But there's also this nice big bump here when the when during the October Next Fest. So I went in with about 400 wish lists and I left with about 1400. So about a 3x increase in wish lists really gave me that spur. So then when I went live, there's a bunch of people who got notified about the game going live. And so at this point, the Steam Next Fest has become a valuable pillar for how I market and release my games. And I want to talk a little bit more about why I love the Next Fest so much. But if you wanted more of a data-driven approach, How to Market Games by Chris Sikowski is an amazing blog. I'll leave a link below, specifically to this article where he goes through the Q&A about the Next Fest and why you should join it. Now, before your game launches, your number one goal is to get as many wish list as possible. The rule of thumb is generally about 7,000 to 10,000 wish lists for an indie game. I didn't get anywhere near that with Chess Survivors. I think I was at, yeah, like 1,500. So don't stress out too much if you don't get there initially, especially if you give your game love and care over time. I've gotten in a total additional wish list about 12,000 at this point with a, a plenty of them converting to actual sales. So don't don't stress out about getting too many wishes, but your goal is to get that number as high as possible before you actually launch your game into EA or whatever. And that's because whenever the game goes on sale, it, Steam will send out a notification and an email to people saying, hey, this game on your wish list is on sale. Are you interested in buying it? And that's help give, uh, especially give chess survivors a really long tail of sales so that I continually, every time I put it on sale, I sell a couple hundred copies, which is, you know, really nice passive income because I'm not really working on chess survivors anymore instead of focusing my work on Hexagon. So the name of the game is Wishlist and that's why the Steam Next Fest is so important. Steam has an incredible algorithm that matches your game based off of the tags and based on the description and and kind of what players are playing and what players are like. They'll, they'll try to find potential players who will like your game as well. And Steam's already doing that, but in the Next Fest, because it's plastered all over the place and because your game is part of a giant festival, there's a lot of games in there, but your game is a part of this that's gonna like supercharge the algorithm to really focus it in on people who are interested in playing demos, interested in types of games that you have, and they can click on these for you, for you pages and see things that they might be interested in. So theoretically, this is an amazing opportunity for you to get more wish lists for your game. Hey, Future Aramis here. I love making videos that you find valuable. It's incredible to see all the people who connect with my channel and my content. If you want to support me any further, the best way to do that is to go check out Hexagod. I don't want to take sponsorships on this channel because it just feels kind of weird and the right one hasn't really popped up quite yet. So right now, the best way to do it is check out Hexagod, go wish list it, play the demo, give me feedback. I love to hear what you think of it. But one of the things I love most about the Steam Next Fest is your ability to join this festival is entirely in your own control. You need two main things to join the Steam Next Fest. The first is your page must be publicly available. The second is you need to have a publicly playable demo by the time the event begins, which means that there's important deadlines for you to be able to hit this. So let's say you wanna join the February Next Fest in 2025. It kicks off on February 24th at 10 a.m. PDT and runs till March Third, the biggest date you need to know right now is by January 13th, your Steam page needs to be publicly available. Now getting your Steam page put together is actually pretty easy to do, but hard to do well. There's a lot to be said about actually making it market, like a, a page look marketable and look attractive to players. I have no idea how to do that. I'm still working on it myself, but from just getting the page approved, it takes about two or three days for Steam to go through and review it. Your, your time may vary. You need only five screenshots. You don't even need a trailer. The screenshots can be improved later, so they just have to really just be there. You have to have a name of the game, and then you have to have a bunch of different sizes, uh, marketing assets for your Steam capsule here, which can be a bit fiddly given enough time. But again, you can improve that again and again and again after the page is approved. You just have to make sure to get into a NextFest that by this registration deadline, that page is publicly available. So make sure you mark your calendar and then dedicate enough time before that registration deadline for February, that is the, the January Next Fest. The rule of thumb is right now, it's about a month and a half before the actual start of it. So then for June, 
which starts in, uh, what is that? June 16th, it starts, which means that April 29th is a registration deadline. October will be something, uh, October 2025 will be something similar. And the second thing that you need to do to be a part of the Steam Next Fest is get your demo published by the time the event begins, which means you don't need it available when the registration deadline hits, although I think you probably should. Uh, it just needs to be available by the time the, uh, the Steam Next Fest begins. Now, to get your published your demo published and available, you need to go through a Steam review process, but just like the page, once it's reviewed and approved, it takes a couple of days, but then you can easily push new builds and you don't have to keep going through that review process. For Hexagod, my my game that's gonna be in the February Next Fest here, I have it published, I think I, I put it out in July, got a ton of feedback and have since improved the game like with like five or six patches and I'm probably going to do double or or triple that by the time the February Next Fest rolls around. You need to know that you can only be a part of one Next Fest. So be sure to pick the one that makes the most sense for your game. Your game's unique, your process is unique. There's probably a min-max for which one of the three, either February, June, or October you should pick, but that's going to be individualistic for your game and make sure that once you're in there that it, it, it fits for the type of game. You might just be trying to get any commercial game out there, which means pick the next fest. One of the truly amazing things about having this next fest is honestly these deadlines. Because I'm a solo developer and I don't have investors and I, I don't have anybody telling me when I need to make games that are, are created, I can take as much time as I need. But now that I've picked a next fest, I have these deadlines, which helps give concrete timelines to abstract problems like adding new features to your game. So by having picked a next fest, you're going to all of a sudden start cutting out the stuff that's that's not needed. The the fluff that you don't need and you can focus on making a demo that is truly represent rep, rep, this truly a good demo. I can't say the word right now. I've had too much coffee today. But that's one of the hidden benefits for me as a next fest is it gives me this this concrete deadline where I have this opportunity to push my game in front of as many players as possible, get all those wish lists, and then progress into finally releasing the game. I don't know the optimal strategy for releasing a game post next fest. I would say keep your timelines flexible. Maybe if you have an explosive. Uh, next fest where you have a bunch of people played and your game really pops off because the algorithm likes it and your game is fun and people are enjoying the game maybe you should invest more time into it or maybe you should run quicker and get it out sooner than not i don't know that's going to be unique to you uh, my plan right now would be to be about a month after the next fest so that i can um, fix bugs and, and get the full game kind of ready to go um, but your mileage may vary your mileage may vary I suggest joining the Next Fest, paying attention to what other games are doing, seeing what other games that are similar in your genre are doing, how they're making their Steam capsules, what are their demos like, how long are their demos, what's in the demo versus what's not, and then coming in here and seeing what are the, what are the charts. You can go here and see trending upcoming. You can see the most wishlisted games, and eventually, I think once the demo is com the Next Fest is completely done, you'll be able to see a list of the top games from the Next Fest, and that's a really great opportunity to go through and check those demos out and really start studying those Steam pages, so you can start seeing. What are games that are being quote unquote successful, having a lot of wish lists doing that are attracting players? And you can then mimic some of those things, use that similar design language. So players will say, oh, it's like that game. I'll probably like it as well. If you're in the October Next Fest, congratulations. If you're in the upcoming February, June, or October Next Fest in the coming years, good luck. It is it is a great opportunity for you to, to see your game out there. And for me personally, it's instrumental to my release process of my games. Go check out Hexagod. The demo is fun and playable. If you give me more feedback now, I can make this game as good as possible. And hopefully this can be a game that starts to give me more passive income, just like Chess Survivors. But maybe, just maybe, I can figure out how to sell more than 6,000 copies. I've been Aramis. Good luck out there. This shit's hard. We're all making it up as we go. Let me know if you have questions down below. Bye-bye.